DNA is fascinating. And it has a compression ratio that's, that's kind of familiar. Some of you have heard of what a JPEG image is, right? You take a picture, you send someone a JPEG, and that has what's called a 10 to 1 compression. It's called a lossy compression. What does that mean? It means that when the JPEG file is compressed, when the image is squeezed down into its, its, its vital parts, that there's information that's just fucking gone. It's gone. And why is it gone? Because the JPEG knows, look, your eye, it's not actually going to like to see black right next to white. It's going to want to see a little gradation that's going to make it look more real. It, it runs all these algorithms and these algorithms cause a loss. So it does a great job because you can see a low, low budget JPEG and your mind builds the rest. But James, reality is objective. It's, uh, I know exactly right, dude. Even a JPEG file is not objective. Even, <laughs> even the image files that we share with each other are not objective, that they actually complain, uh, 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 contain these compression algorithms, which are mimicking and faking what was actually there because it knows your brain will fill in the rest. It's fascinating. And guess what? MP3s do it too. JPEG compression about a 10 to one. Again, it's a lossy compression. MP3 has about 11 to one, right? So if you start out with an 11 megabyte file, you'll end up with a one megabyte MP3. If you start out with a 10 megabyte JPEG, you'll end up with a one megabyte JPEG, just to clarify what I mean. MPEG, the video format that you actually are watching right now, technically through a strange streaming algorithm that tries to call it RTMP, but the MPEG format itself is a 52 to one compression, very similar to JPEG and MP3. But DNA, oh, that's sweet, sweet chain of DNA. God, it's so sweet. A thousand to one lossless compression, lossless. There's no data lost in the compression of